Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to you. Welcome to our Holy Prophet Welcome to all those who are calling themselves his lovers. Those who are claiming to be following him, welcome. We're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for all our shortcomings, for all our mistakes that we have done, that we are still doing, and that we are going to do. We are trying to be believers. We are trying to be the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala must be busy with his servanthood. Must be busy with serving, nothing else. Must find ways to please his master. Our master is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yes, of course. But he has sent down his Prophet والسلام, to be our master to bring us to him. And that Prophet والسلام, has left 1400 years ago. And he has left so many who are his inheritors to continue his way to bring us to him. Our intention is servanthood, nothing else. And in these very dark days of confusion, where everyone who has a mouth, they talk. And now, not enough, they are talking, their fingers also talking. Going on that internet and that Facebook fitna 24 hours, just being busy with Malayani, being busy with things that do not concern them. And every action of Malayani takes away faith from you. Every action of Malayani will burn all your amal and your ibadat. We must look at what is the disease that is going to destroy the body. If we are being too busy with just trying to beautify the body, but we are not looking at the disease, one day you are just going to get sick and you are going to drop down dead. And no amount of whatever beautiful things that you put on the body is going to help you. Everybody knows this is the most important thing. Health. When it comes to the physical health, some are even placing it above everything else. Health is the most important thing. Yes, for a believer, of course health is important. We want to be a believer that is strong, not a believer that is weak. We want to be a believer that is strong, that is not going to ask help from anyone else. There's not going to be a burden to anyone else, but he's going to help others. And he's going to take the burdens away from others. But when we come to speak about spiritual diseases, very few are going to listen. Because only a few are humble. Only a few want to be servants. The rest, they are thinking that they are something. These days, everyone is running to become an alim. Running to become a scholar. Running to know so much. There's a Turkish poem that says, You may know all the secrets of the Taurat, the Zabur, the Injil and the Furkan. But if you don't know yourself, you are lost, you are gone, you know nothing. And when we are concentrating on this, 
knowledge of yourself, understanding yourself, only a few humble ones, only a few awake ones, only a few that are intelligent, they listen. The majority are proud. And the majority are saying, this is low-level knowledge. This is basic knowledge. This is a knowledge that is low, that is not high. But the knowledge of the self, other than the knowledge of Allah, it is the highest knowledge. It is the most important knowledge. And every knowledge has a beginning, a middle and an end. Before it moves to another higher knowledge, there is a beginning, a middle and an end that goes up continuously. Because above every knower, there is a knower. We are all servants. Obedient servants or disobedient servants. But we are still servants. And we are here to know ourselves. But if a man is not understanding his ego, and if he's not understanding the poison that is being produced inside of him by himself, if the man refuses to be busy with this, he is the most proud and the most foolish and the most unfortunate one. This is what we are learning from our Shah. This is what the Tariqat must be concentrating on. This is what, Alhamdulillah, we are looking at every day and trying to make ourselves to become better. This is what our Sheikh lived for and what he passed away from this world for. Leaving us this, taking the most precious jewels that Sultan al has given and giving it to us. And the most precious jewels, it begins with you digging in the dirt. Nowadays, people want to enter into tariqat and they want the jewels ready, just like that. And they are given to jewels that are ready. But they are fake jewels. Fake. They just look beautiful. They look colorful. They look expensive. But it's fake. Because for the real jewels, you have to go deep into the earth to mine it. And you have to take away so much dirt, so much debris, so much soil away from it. And even when you find the jewel, even when you find the jewel, it looks like dirty glass. Work must be done to it for it to have the real beauty to come out. There must be work and there must be a lot of hardship to that. We want the jewel of our uh, spirit, our reality to come out. But nobody wants to work for it. We say clean yourself. This is too low level for us to clean ourselves. We are already clean. No, you are not. You are filled with the dirt, but you don't see it. May Allah put us with more intelligence and more wakefulness and more faith to accept and to put it in our lives and not to be in ghaflat, not to be in proudness. <coughs> Preparation is now. And this is a very big part of the preparation. The jihad against the nafs. 
There is no greater jihad than this. The jihad against the nafs. The struggle against the nafs. Don't get nervous when we say jihad. We are meaning the struggle. And the greatest struggle is against your nafs. If you are not struggling against your nafs, you are not involved in the greatest jihad. Then, you are being busy in tariqat for nothing. May Allah not make us to be busy with nothing. <coughs> Welcome to you. Welcome to this month. We are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us to become more better servants in this month than we were in the last. Inshallah Rahman. May Allah give us more intelligence. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Fatiha. <laughs>